Hello to you, I'm Erie Meteorologist Tom DeVecchio. If you are watching this, you probably know about the big eclipse that's going to be happening across parts of the United States. That is on April 8th, 2024. And if you're watching this, you're probably wondering, uh, why go to Erie, Pennsylvania to check out the eclipse? Isn't Erie dank and dark and snowy and rainy uh, on April 8th? Uh, well, we're here uh, hopefully to dispel some of that myth. Now. We're not Hawaii. Nobody here is Hawaii. So don't expect, don't expect beautiful bright sunshine and warm tropical breezes. Uh, but before you decide maybe to go farther south where you might think the weather is so much better, uh, well, let's check out the actual data. What I'm going to show you is data from April 8th. Now, when it comes to viewing the eclipse, yeah, there's a lot of things to look at, but the, the one you're really interested in is just how cloudy will it be? And uh, that's what we're going to focus on uh, in this particular part of this talk. So here's the path that goes from Texas all the way up through Indianapolis, Cleveland, here in Erie, PA, and into northern New England. Now, it'd be nice if the path had been in June or July when everyone is sunnier, but you know, I don't make the rules of nature, so uh, let's see how April goes here. Now, the first uh, graph I want to show you is cloud cover from Texas to Missouri. Now, one thing you'll notice here on this side, this is the uh, decimal amount of cloud cover. 0.5 would mean 50% cloud cover, 60, 70, 40, 30, you get the picture. So this is percentage of cloud cover, not the percentage of will there be clouds. So you see uh, a lot of kind of greenish yellows here, indicative more of cloud cover. That would be anywhere, uh, say, in the 50 to 60 percent range. So even in Texas in April, uh, you can probably expect on April 8th uh, at least partly cloudy skies to maybe mostly cloudy. That's just the way climatology goes, even in that neck of the woods for the month of April, or at least, excuse me, on April 8th. In the meantime, Let's go up uh, through Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. You say, oh, a lot of oranges here, okay. Uh, yeah, probably not the best place to be. We have cloud cover 70 to 80% range on average through this part of the country. So as we head toward to Pennsylvania and New York, here's Erie down here and most of New York. And at first glance, you're thinking, wow, there's a lot of clouds here. And that is indeed the case, uh, courtesy of the Great Lakes. However, these same Great Lakes also help to suppress the air and actually uh, improve the sky conditions. If you notice here, right along the lakes, uh, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, and we'll zoom in a little bit more on Erie here, we're more in the greens uh, as opposed to the yellows all around us. So Erie, we're kind of an oasis from the thick cloud cover, and we actually can expect about 60% cloud cover uh, for April 8th. So not so bad when you compare it to the rest of the country and not nearly as cloudy as dank as you may have been led to believe perhaps uh, from other sources. Now the other thing to consider, yes, you know, we want clear skies, uh, but even if you have full cloud cover, you can still enjoy the effects of a total eclipse. The one thing you don't want is severe weather. And in April, now this is a map of all of April for severe weather, not April 8th. And each dot represents a severe weather event on average in April in the past 50 years. Look at all the dots here in Texas and through uh, the, the lower Mississippi Valley. So uh, the threat of severe weather in uh, that neck of the woods is higher, probably about, oh, anywhere maybe 10% uh, or so of maybe severe weather on April 8th. But look up here, here's Erie, no dots, okay? Our threat of severe weather is much lower and if there's anything that could put a damper on the potential for uh, not seeing the eclipse at all, it's severe weather. So just something to think about too and you may want to consider Erie, Pennsylvania for that. So the bottom line, yeah, the south uh, toward Texas, Arkansas gets a little more sun but not by much, but your severe threat is noticeably greater the farther south you go, greater threat of heavy rain and lightning, and a much smaller chance of seeing the total eclipse. So consider Erie. Not only is the weather not too bad, we got great people here and great hospitality, and I know you would certainly enjoy it here.
Enjoy that eclipse, and thank you for listening.